We're here at Lenaro Connect in Hong Kong, and I'm with Greg Corhartman of the Linux Foundation and John Corbett of LWM. John, you gave a keynote earlier this week, and Greg, you're scheduled to do one later this week. John, can you give people what your takeaway message is, um, or was in your keynote? And Greg, can you tell people what your takeaway message is going to be? The takeaway message of my keynote, I suppose, was that over time, like the Linux kernel community in general, the ARM development community has grown up from early stages where it did not always work very well with the rest of us through towards a more adult stage now, and that I really was hoping to see the ARM development community step up and take responsibility for driving the direction of the kernel as a whole and to work in the core kernel and not just the, the ARM specific parts of it and to become full-fledged members of, of the community second to none. Greg, how can developers, when they submit their code, what can they do to make your job a little bit easier? Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about is how, what you guys currently do is you've done a lot in the past year, and but you've been playing in your own little sandbox. Once you have to deal with other maintainers, you have to start interacting with people, you have to start testing your code before you submit it. And I'll walk through a few examples of patches from Lunaro recently that have caused people problems and how you guys, when you should be submitting your code, how to work upstream, and then on the flip side, what, how, what you should expect from the kernel maintainers themselves because there's a lot that you should be expecting from us to help you with and because um, it's a two-way street here and what we should be able to provide you. Greg, for those who fear the feedback from the upstream kernel community when they submit code, how would you encourage them to just submit their code and, and, and take the feedback for what it's worth? Well, first off, you have to submit your code upstream due to the rate of change of how fast the kernel's going. And I'll talk about how fast the kernel's been going. Again, we're getting scary, scary numbers. Um, so talk about that. But then you, to move stuff upstream, we have a well-documented process. Deepak uh, gave a very good talk this week at Lenaro Connect. He's done it every single one about how to work with the community. Uh, Lenaro offers that to their members, um, and you guys just need to enforce that. <laughs> because what you have very good kernel developers who are members of the community and are maintainers as part of Lenaro. Um, you need to listen to them because <laughs> they know what they're doing and they know how to do this kind of stuff. Um, and that's very important for you guys to do. John, in your, in your talk, you reference a teenager's messy room. How do you um, see Lenaro cleaning up their, their messy room? And is there anything in your keynote, anything that you didn't say in your keynote talk that you'd like to expound on now? Okay, well, for the first part, yeah, and I put up a picture of a certain teenager's messy room as an example of just throwing things onto the floor. And I think that Early, the early stage of contribution from much of the, the embedded and mobile communities was like that. Here it is, throw it on the floor. And then over time you sort of learn that maybe you should put a shelf there and organize things and then you can find them again and so on so that rather than having to buy a thousand socks you can actually find the socks you have and they're not all under the bed somewhere. That sort of thing. So there's been a lot of that going on within the, the ARM community of in a sense building the shelves, building the infrastructure so that a lot of code can be shared instead of being kind of thrown into the separate room for each ARM sub-platform. So we have a lot of interesting abstractions now that aren't there, that weren't there before, a lot of which has been done by, by folks working under the, the Lenaro umbrella. So things are, are moving up the stack and there's a lot more structure and things are much less messy now than they were before. Things have been cleaned up quite a bit. So you can actually almost see the floor now. So. Good <laughs> um, it is a good metaphor. I think it applies fairly well. So I think things are really heading in the right direction. And a lot of it is really a matter of solving problems in the right place. This is what I was trying to say when I was there. In terms of what I would have liked to have said that didn't, one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to ask the crowd how many of them were going to attend the, the Linux Storage and File System and Memory Management Summit that's coming up next month just because that is a good place to work with, with core kernel developers. It's one of the most um, technical and task-oriented and productive meetings that I go to. I actually like it a lot better than the, the real kernel summit in that regard. And my intuition is that very few hands would have gone up when I asked that question. So I would have encouraged people to probably still could put in proposals for that and try to attend that particular event as a way of, of mixing a bit more with the core kernel development community and 
getting their solutions really in the right place in the kernel. We aren't at a, a lot of events historically. Um, John, Greg, what events do you think that Lenaro should be attending and have a greater presence and footprint at? Well, the, the Storage and File System and Memory Management Summit would be an awfully good one to be at. Um, I might encourage you a little bit more participation at the Linux Plumbers Conference as a way of, of looking at levels of the stack where perhaps you still don't see a whole lot of activity in the mobile and embedded world, and partly because a lot of the, the higher level plumbing in, on, in these systems is Android, which is perhaps not discussed there as much. But it would sure be nice to have more sharing of code and, and infrastructure at that level as well. And not everybody is doing Android, even in the ARM world. So I think that having more participation at that that level of the stack would be very helpful. Not everyone starts out as a kernel developer. What other areas, in addition to the, the core kernel, would you encourage people to get involved in? Wow, that, that really depends on what the people are interested in doing because there are so many tasks to be done at every level, whether they're development type tasks, making the plumbing layers work better, making the applications work better. There's just geographic you know, designer work, we can always use more input from people like that, translation work, um, documentation work, and so on. I mean, I. Greg, how do you see people getting involved outside the core kernel community, but yet still supporting the Linux kernel? Um, testing. Just test it. I mean, take the kernel of the day or the Linux next kernel. Every day, test it. If you have problems, let us know. Because it works on my machine, but it might not work on yours. And I, I will say that's a nice little gateway drug into actually fixing those problems and making those people developers. And that's the way a lot of us got involved. And that's the best way, because then you're scratching an itch that you can see and test and you want to do. Um, documentation, um, translations of the documentation to other languages. We have a lot of people uh, with, that know lots of different languages. Doing that would be wonderful. We have a need for that. Um, spelling fixes. People s fix the comment, spelling and comments. I mean, it sounds, it sounds hokey, but it's a good way to get involved and do that. Um, in the staging part of the kernel, we can actually use cleanups. We have a big to-do list of things. If you do know how to program you want to get involved, it's a great place to start out. A number of people have started off fixing up basic coding style stuff, cleaned up drivers, and moved off into being regular core kernel developers from that itself. It is a process. Everybody starts with one patch, and that's a good place to start. Is there anything that I haven't asked you about that you'd like to tell the people at Lenaro about or those who are watching this video that you haven't already talked about this week? Well, I think I was fairly <laughs> outspoken on, on my thoughts on Monday morning. Um, and since people keep coming up to me and talking about it, I <laughs> guess I got something across. I mean, I guess I would sort of reiterate the side of my talk that maybe wasn't heard as much, which is that there's an awful lot of good work being done by this group of people, and it's getting better all the time. And I really wanted to not castigate people so much as to say, you're doing good stuff, keep on going, and, and take the next step. One thing personally to say is like maintainers of subsystems, I was meeting with somebody today and I had never, I've only exchanged emails with him. And he's like, oh yes, I wrote this code. I was like, oh, that's great. Um, why don't you become the maintainer of that? And he's like, what? I'm like, yes, well, you can be the maintainer of that. He's like, I didn't know I could be a maintainer. He's like, yes, nobody's really doing that work. Please step up and do that. Um, there's a lot of really talented people here. There's a lot of really talented people, engineers, and that they are the community. Not that the community is somebody else that you have to submit code to or avoid or stay away from. You are the community, and so you need to make it as good as for everybody. Because there's no mythical them, it's us all together. And I really care about embedded stuff. I, that's my background before I started working on big servers. Um, I like embedded stuff, I like little devices. I'm gonna present my whole talk off an embedded ARM board tomorrow. It's gonna run on a battery. So I mean, that you couldn't do a number of years ago. Um, I like these kind of things, so that's a fun type of device I like messing with. I don't normally get to do that, and I like people to know that I do care that ARM succeeds for Linux, and because that grows the ecosystem overall for Linux. It's an important part, and um, I want you to join us, and how we are all together. John, for those who may not be familiar about where to find LWN or how to get involved in LWN, can you tell people a little bit more about how they can do that? Well, LWN is easy enough to find at lwn.net. So you can go there and you can certainly see all the stuff that we've been putting out over the years. And if you look for the, the kernel index under the kernel pointer, you'll, you'll find all kinds of kernel-related 
uh, writing, if, if that is something that is of interest to you. I, I am always desperately looking for people who would like to write technical stuff for us. That's just why there's a big link right at the top of the, every page that says write for us. So yes, it, I, hopefully it is easy. And if anybody out there is wanting to, to write technical stuff and be paid for it, um, please contact me. So linuxfoundation.org, to know about the Linux Foundation, Linux and Linux.com. Linux Foundation is composed of corporations and individuals. Um, we have two board members, two board level seats that are elected by pe individuals as part of the community. And then we have one board level seat that's elected by members of the Technical Advisory Board, which are the kernel developers. Um, this is a community driven organization as well as a corporate one together. It's a really interesting mix of the two things. The companies involved realize that the community is very important and the community realizes that the company is important as well. We all ended up working for them. <laughs> so um, that's a very good thing to get involved with. We have um, conferences everywhere around the world. I feel like I'm traveling everywhere. Um, but other conferences are really good as the Plumbers Conference. They get involved with the kernel community. Our mailing lists. Um, we have tons and tons of documentation in the kernel itself on how to get involved in this kind of stuff. The documentation how-to file tells you where to go from everywhere right there. Start there and go. John, Greg, thank you both very much for joining me here today. Um, I hope that we'll have the opportunity to implement and take your advice, and I hope that you'll come back to the next Connect and see how we've done just that. So thank you very much for sitting down with me here in uh, Hong Kong and look forward to speaking with you again. Thanks thank for inviting you. us. Yeah, thank you very much for, for having us here.